Chapter 17 Summary of Holographic Human Transformation Theory Wholeness Totalities Time, Past, Present, Future Family, Father, Mother, Child Communication Transmit, Receive, Message Reality Space, Time, Matter Sin Shame, Guilt, Fear Pure Love of Christ Hope Faith, Charity, Healing, Spiritual, Energy, Physical. When reading the body language map, be aware of a two-second rule. The two-second rule is that when a person is asked a question or just processing something in their mind, they will have some gestures or movement in the area of their body that correlates with that sense of the body language map within two seconds of thinking about the question or just processing the information held in that sense. In reading the human body map, it is the area of the body that is not moving, gestured to, nor in that is the sense that the block or problem is regarding the topic the person is talking about. The person doesn't need to be talking to be able to read this based on the body map. Remember the two-second rule. Thoughts can come in the form of images or words, sounds as internal dialogues, emotions of both a positive or negative nature, physical sensations of pain, disease, and taste, and smells, and energy or intuitions, and just a sense of being or a sense of time. Holograms are wholes and whole systems. The universe by nature is holographic, and so are humans and the human body. Human consciousness is holographic, as is inner processing and their resulting models. They come naturally. There are three aspects of nature, structure, patterns, and processes. The world is composed of two different systems, the natural systems and the man-made systems. There is a universal form known as the wholeness model made up of three elemental levels and one totality level. These apply to everything living. Nature will plummet to get us into our patterns and processes. What are our patterns and processes? You'll be thrown out of the center of yourself. This is what happens with cancer. You are throwing yourself away, and if you don't get back into the center of yourself, you will die. Cancer happens as feedback to be a doormat. You can unchoose to be a doormat. Anger comes because you have standards and don't want them. You want other standards. You want to take other standards and plug them into your own. The human system. Element mind. Element emotion. Element body. Human system has three basic functions. Element Identity, basis of identity and personality. Element, communication, information, processing and functions. Element, creation. Because human systems are integrated, it is possible to observe human information processing as body movement. Movement equals meaning. Nature streamlines systems by having parts or processes at any level that have the same shape or form to resonate together and correspond as one. What part of the airplane flies or the car runs? It is the relationship correspondence, unifying, wholeness that lets the airplane fly, the car operate, and humans function properly. You are not your senses, your internal organs, your experiences, memories, models, processes, etc. You are the wholeness combined, the entire system totaled. This is known as synergy. Synergy is defined as the whole being greater than the sum of its parts. Holographic Human Transformation Theory Based on the way we develop models, processes, beliefs, worldviews, through integration, concepts, principles, and models work together. Consciousness of a personality field, the sum total of all the moments that represent our internal processing. Our field of consciousness is the realm of activity region of space characterized by a physical property like gravitational force, where every part of the region has a determinable effect or value. Human consciousness and personality, information and processing systems are dimension and has specific location. The mind field thinks, reasons, reflects, logic, objective forms hierarchies, conscious center of our whole being. Holograms are whole systems, totality, Humans are holograms. The world is composed of two different systems of totality. Natural systems, man-made systems. Time. 
Time itself is the measure of measurable period during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues. Time is non-spatial, and its continuum is measured in terms of the events which succeed one another from the past, through the present, and into the future. One of a series of recurring instances or repeated actions, added or accumulated quantities or instances, finite to infinite duration. Time is referenced to with various word usage, such as nevertheless, yet, is the same time, at times, at intervals, for the time being, for the present, from time to time, occasionally, in no time, very quickly or soon, in time, sufficiently early, time and again, frequently, repeatedly. These are all in reference to actions, processes, or conditions. Time itself naturally is designed to cause actions, processes, or conditions of the future to naturally turn to a state of disorder. This is a very natural part of time, as actions, processes, or conditions must constantly change for future movement. There are many aspects showing the way the earth, mankind, business, life itself is constantly changing. Time can actually be used itself to be a part of being able to change the continuum of natural disorder of future movements, time, measurements between actions, processes, or conditions. This natural disorder is partly due to the unavailable energy in any closed system, and any systems become a closed system when it is not changing constantly between past, present, and future measurements, which is the meaning and function of time. The unavailable energy in a closed system will vary directly with any reversible change depending upon the degree of disorder required for the degree of change for future actions, processes, or conditions within any given system. Physics, laws, and holographic human theory. Similarity, expand, unity, deviating event. Condition, in process times by multiplicand. Correspondence governs function nature having parts or processes at any level of the same shape or form resonate as one. Similar parts change together. Example 2. Electrons. When one changes its spin, the other one changes its spin also. The totality of related parts that are in a complex whole naturally correspond and affect each other, leaving the multiplicand unchanged. Integrity is the condition of being whole or complete. To integrate is the process of making whole. Integrity exists because the structure and processes of natural systems are unified in a way that causes parts to work together in parallel similarities and correspondence. Entropy cycles A, statistical disorder of energy. The entropy cycle is a measure of the unavailable energy in a closed system that is also usually considered to be a measure of the system's disorder. It is a property of the system's state and will vary in direct regards to any reversible change in the system and in regards to the time factors of the disorder of the system's energy, which is unavailable and causing the disorder. The degradation of the matter and energy in the universe to the ultimate state of inert uniformity, the process of degradation or running down or the natural trend to the disorder. Anomaly is information that runs counter to the normal beliefs of the system. They are the defects already a part of the system from the beginning, and they stop the system from growth just based upon the natural order of time and future and disorder. Reality, time, space, and matter. Natural disorder. Discontinuous disorder. Unpredictable identity. Helpless, hopeless, worthless are key words that the individual is no longer living in their own space, environment, the self. There's too much garbage in it to live there. The more we move toward the structure, space, environment, self, the more effective we are. The more we move away from, deny, refuse, and repress, the more abstract we become, the less effective we become. So, to just think or talk about a problem doesn't help. We must deal with the model or structures of the problem, and we become more effective, the self. Humans as individuals are created to self-organize, to have unity, correspondence, similarities within itself. When these do not listen and respond to each other, there is deterioration. This happens on an individual basis as well as in families, communities, countries, and the world. 
Once the system is in decline, it moves quickly to chaos, disorder. Chaos in physics is a form of disorder that is discontinuous and nonlinear, but not totally random disorder and degeneration. Stability, order, chaos, disorder, randomness, total disorder. Between stability and chaos and randomness and chaos is what is known as far from equilibrium states. These states accelerate the removal of the limitations imposed on the system. On this light, disorder can be seen as nature's way of obtaining success. When the body's feedback is denied, rejected, the body does not heal itself. The problem, whether physical, mental, or emotional, stays chronic. Withdrawal from drugs or alcohol is a good example of this process. When the body cramps, vomits, diarrheas, it's the body's process of getting the toxins out of the body system. When other medications are given to stop the body's process towards wholeness again, the problem remains in a chronic stage. In order to attain a state of wholeness or health, the individual, family, society, etc. must go through the acute stay to get to health and wholeness. Once in the health or wholeness state again, natural anomalies appear, and once again we go through another acute state to deal with the chronic anomaly state to return to the health and wholeness, repeat, repeat, repeat. There is no cure for life's problems, whether individual or global. There is, however, natural processes built into each human individual for growing, etc., because of life's problems. Whether they belong to us as individuals or to the world, natural body functions, internal processes, and models for overcoming and growing. Addictive Systems Systems that are closed to natural forms of feedback become addictive systems. This is when one or more of the systems have plummeted on other parts of the system not being completed. Addictions, whether drugs, alcohol, negative thoughts, feelings, behaviors, have timelines they can't disassociate from. In order to change the addiction, they must be disassociated from the timeline events and or emotions controlling the addictions. Being able to watch time is through time, seeing time from the past to the future. Watching through time assists in evaluating consequences, cause, and effects. Through time, people evaluate individuals. People stuck in time can't get out of pain, problems. These individuals stuck in time get involved in drugs or alcohol or other addictive thoughts, behaviors that are self-limiting from growth and change. All things done within our bodies is for a positive intent, disease, discomfort, emotion, behavior, thought, all things the subconscious controls is for a wholeness state for the individual. Changing to a state of wholeness does not stop an individual from being able to experience or do the negative thing. It allows for the individual to choose to do the negative thing or to choose to not do the negative thing. In order to choose to not do a thing, there must be a positive thing to choose to do. Choice is the ultimate purpose, not control. Each body system is intended to be an open system and part of the whole system, wholeness, which is the whole system, totality. When all systems are open and corresponding together, we have the whole system, identity. When any system is closed in any area, another body system is plummeted into by the closed system. This is the body system's attempt to get wholeness back. When it plummets into another system, identity is lost. Our inner enemy is our self plummeting us to open our system up. This then becomes the addicted process, closed system. When it plummets, it plummets to the corresponding body system as illustrated on the body map. The closed system can also be identified with linguistics by the words used to describe the problem you or another individual has. Words corresponding with any of the sensory systems, their processes, models, and functions will identify the closed body system. As this process pertains for the sensory firing orders, there is a specific pattern to go through the three processes or steps of all of the whole systems explained in these pages. The first three senses fired are steps one, two, and three in the step and firing order. The last three steps of the change process is the foundation for the open system process. In fact, the third sense fired is where the system becomes a closed system if the third sense fired isn't stopped from continuing with the success process. 
Sense 3's process has to stop or die in order for Sense 4 firing to begin the new process. The third sense fired is the crossover sense, the bifurcation point where the central nervous system crosses from one side of the body to the opposite side through the sensory firing order on a subconscious basis. This is considered to be the point of fulfilling the pattern for achievement and success. This is the very cause for most closed systems, not being open to natural change itself and the continuous growth we are created to have and be. If the third sense fired is the sense of smell, then the individual's strategies must stop, literally, for the next sense to fire. Strategies are the main function of the sense of smell. Strategies are an adaptation or a complex of adaptations, such as behavior, metabolism, or structure, that serves or appears to serve an important function in achieving evolutionary success. Know thyself, then heal thyself, then Heal others. 1. Know thyself. 2. Heal thyself. 3. Know and heal others. This process must happen before we can truly know others, then heal others. As Jesus said, we must first take the rafter out of our own eye before we can take it out of another's eye. One person does not an addict alcoholic make. It took a team to get us here, and it takes a team to get us out and keep us out. This team is family. Family is the way we are created. Whether married or single, it still took a male and a female to create a child. This we call family. Education is important for children and adults. The dictionary defines educate as to draw out. The family should be drawing out aspects of each individual. Qualities, abilities, talents, Families should have a sense of commonality between the members and in the family environment. The family model of unity and security in their environment is the same model the individuals will use in society. Once the individuals know their talents and abilities, they learn to harmonize them in the family environment for a sense of balance. Children will reflect back or mirror to their parents, other siblings, the family, community. Areas the parents are denying these denials can be about suppressed need, denied need, rejected needs, talents, and drives. The scriptures state, the sins of the parents are on the heads of the children for four generations. We must change ourselves before we may assist another to change. In order to change oneself, one must first know themselves. Even though you might think that you do know yourself, if you have personal problems you cannot overcome, if you have personal goals you get striving for that you cannot attain, then you do not truly know yourself. I believe that the Lord does not give us problems that we cannot overcome. I believe that if we have a goal we keep striving for, we always have the means and abilities to attain that goal. An excellent way to truly know yourself is to know your inner self, your subconscious self. If just knowing yourself consciously only, and yet you still can't overcome or attain what your conscious knows, Get to know your subconscious self, and you can then consciously overcome your problems better. You can consciously attain your conscious goals. Conscious can override subconscious. First conscious must know the subconscious programs that are running. We all have meta-programs or paradigms in our subconscious. Programs that run our body, brain, and emotional processings and functions. This automatically creates our conscious responses. These paradigms or meta-programs have been created over the course of an individual's life based on many aspects of the individual's life experience. These paradigms have been identified and understood for many years. The information about these paradigms has been mostly used to assist business in being able to make their money. These paradigms have been taught and used by authority to manipulate people into believing that the authorities want people to believe. This information has been used for years to create positive motivational seminars and books. The information about these paradigms, this other information about the ways our inner self work, this is literally ways of literally truly knowing ourselves, our inner self. And when we know ourselves, we can then choose to change aspects of ourselves. Human beings are incredible, complicated beings. Each individual is created as a whole being with many different aspects. Since recorded history, people have studied the whole being in all of its different aspects. 
As time goes on, more and more is discovered about aspects of our being. New aspects are being discovered as time continues as other human beings seek different aspects of the human being. These are some of the aspects of our inner being that is known today. Much of these aspects have been known for quite some time. Perhaps new aspects will be discovered by other human beings as time goes on. Subjectivity, the effect of the observer on the observed. The dangerous consequences of living our lives when our inner selves are a mystery to us. S is the symbol in physics which stands for entropy. Entropy may be described and applied in numerous ways to numerous natural and man-made things in our lives. It is statistical disorder, energy, a measure of the unavailable energy which exists in a closed system that is also usually considered to be a measure of the system's disorder. That is a property of the system's state, and that varies directly with any reversible change in the system, the degree of disorder or uncertainty of system. This is a natural cycle of any system with the intent of continued growth and wholeness for the entire system. A natural process of degradation of the matter and energy in the universe to an ultimate state of inert uniformity, a process of degradation or running down or a trend to disorder. Any system must continue to grow. Even when success is achieved, the system has fulfilled its purpose and purpose must continue so growth is inevitable. Growth by definition is continual. Human consciousness and personality information processing systems are dimension and have location. Metaprograms, information, processing, data compressing, and model making processes. Functions and abstract functions of the sense corresponds dimensionally. Humans are open systems. Open systems are open to feedback and have permeable and flexible boundaries. Closed systems are not open to new feedback, data, information. Closed systems are addictive systems. In nature, success is achieved through self-organization. When a closed system is in decline, natural forces come into play. Their only goal is to eliminate or lift the restrictions that keep the system closed. Stability becomes dysfunctional. A closed system can only duplicate itself. Chaos is discontinuous and nonlinear. Anomalies, information that runs counter to the norm beliefs of the system. They are defects already a part of the system from the beginning, stopping the system from growing. Symbols, representations, ways of expressing, spoken, written language, mathematics, music, photography are some examples of symbols. Hierarchy of data pyramid, wisdom, knowledge, information, data, data, the symbols themselves. Information, arrangement of data into meaningful patterns, such as math and physics. Knowledge, the application and product use of information. Knowledge is built on the models we form out of experience and theories of others. Wisdom, the discerning use of knowledge. Which body of knowledge is best to use where and when? Being wise means you have an elevated understanding of the entire system. Models, perceptual, experience, understand, filtering, and theories discernment. 1. Data. 2. Information. 3. Knowledge. 4. Wisdom. Incremental change is endless. Small shifts in behaviors. Transformation change is unpredictable. Change and exponential change. This represents an identity level change. Structure of transformation. To change by nature, function, condition. 3. Transition points. 1. Success point. 2. Bifurcation point. 3. Crossover point. 1. Success end of forming phase. Fulfilled purpose. 2. Bifurcation point. End of norming phase. Anomalies appear. The beginning of the transformation curve. In search of new answers. 3. Crossover point. A new success pattern will suddenly appear. Discontinuity. Jumping the curve. The change curve. 1. The Age Era of Integrity 2. The Age Era of Light Doing things right, doing right things. Only the whole system can fly. Educate means to draw out, not to pour in. 1. Unique qualities, talents of each. 2. 
a sense of commonality between the individual and their environment, the common thread they have with each other and a bond with the natural world. Three, a balancing and harmonizing of unique individuality with a sense of commonality. Integration is a process of unifying, unity. Human transform and integrate by nature. Their inherent sense of right and wrong in accordance with and determined by their very nature. Permutation is major and fundamental change, as in a character or condition, based primarily on rearrangement of existent elements, changing by the act or process the lineal order of an ordered set or arrangements of character or conditions. A quantum leap is an abrupt transition, as of an electron, an atom, and a molecule, from one discrete energy state to another, Identity and sameness of essential or genetic character in different instances. Sameness in all that constitutes the objective reality of a thing, a quality whose effect is to leave the multiplied unchanged, the number that is to be multiplied by another. Communication being a process by which information is exchanged between individuals through a common system of symbols, signs, or behaviors, exchange of information. Children reflect denied needs and repressed desires of parents and siblings. Communication, the act or process of transferring data. Healing model, two approaches. One, physical, two, spiritual. Physical equals nutrition, fitness, hygiene, body maintenance. Spiritual, body system matrix, belief, integration, addictive systems, closed, energy system. Language of emotions as they relate to the holographic human model. Body system matrix. 1. Central nervous system sight. 2. Respiratory system sound. 3. Circulatory system touch. 4. Muscular and skeletal systems energy. 5. Reproductive system smell. 6. Digestive system taste. Innocence. In no sense. Innocence breeds more innocence. Humiliation is the ultimate strategy of limitation. Properties and characteristics of our natural being need not be formed or added onto, only expanded. The inner world of being is different than the outer world of doing. Human beings are good and deserving by nature. Models forming internal representations of our experiences. A model is not a memory. It is a collection of memories. The information in this book applies to everything in your life and in your being. Natural man, by the very nature of the nature of our being, is an enemy of God. Natural man is an enemy to himself. We are here to learn to overcome, and this book helps you identify what to overcome in yourself. This book explains the pathways to overcome your own natural man. The holographic human transformation theory is inclusive of physics, science, religion, and medicine. This information can take you to a level you might have never even dared to imagine being on. Enjoy your journey. You are not a mystery. All you require to attain all you can imagine in your life is already within you. Remove your self-limiting beliefs and begin to know thyself. Heal thyself. Know and heal others. We came to earth with two fears, falling and loud noises. Self-limiting beliefs keeps us from knowing ourselves. Removing our self-limiting program models frees us to be limitless, incredible beings. We already are incredible. It is the unknown, mystery self, stopping us from realizing this. Holographic human transformation theory is a manual for enjoying our lives. The environment is only the space in which we reside. When the environment is able to control our inner being, we are not knowing our own inner being. Space is endless and must have action, energy within it to have dimension. Energy is potential difference. Yet often we live in an environment with seemingly no potential difference. Time itself places a factor in our environment and our space. We could even affect time simply by taking action ourselves. We are in charge of creating our own potential differences regardless of the environment we are in.